Hello everyone, this is Jacob Ames, Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems, here with another tech tip for using eDrawings markups inside PDM. This simple technique makes quick work of creating annotations for review with quite a bit more flexibility, and since eDrawings is already integrated into previews in PDM, no extra configuration is required. All you need to do is have checkout permission for the file you want to mark up, so I'll check out this drawing of a bracket for a drone assembly I've been working on. Then simply use the view file command to display it in eDrawings. From here, just add annotations as you normally would in eDrawings using all the available markup tools. Once you're finished, simply save the file and close the document. Now, when we or another user open this drawing in SolidWorks, we'll find the eDrawings markups appear automatically and ready for review. If needed, these annotations can be hidden, shown, and deleted right from the Feature Manager design tree. Additionally, returning to the vault view, you'll notice that the drawing preview has been updated to include the annotations for a quick look. Now, this workflow is great, assuming you can check out all the files you want, but what happens when this isn't the case? Well, fortunately, we can still add annotations to any document we'd like, but the workflow is a bit different and requires us to save our markups independently from the document and then load them in manually in a read-only view. We'll set this up by removing the existing markups and then checking the drawing back in. We can still view the file in eDrawings despite it being checked in, though, and we still have access to all of our markup tools as before. So let's add a few markups here. Now this is where the workflow deviates from what we saw previously. This time, we'll save our markup separately by using the File drop-down and selecting Save Markup rather than saving the entire drawing. Once the markup is saved to the vault, the markup can now be imported to the drawing when viewed in SolidWorks by a user who does have checkout access. So let's imagine now we're the manager and we'll check out the drawing, then open it up in SolidWorks. From here, we can simply use the Insert drop-down and choose eDrawings Markup File. Then browse to the Markup File in the vault and click Open. And with that, we have successfully added eDrawings Markup annotations to a SolidWorks drawing without ever having right access to the drawing itself. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give us a like, subscribe, or visit us at hawkridgesys.com for more videos and more educational tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.